But um, all right. Yeah, let, yeah. If the interaction, just uh, I'm Cap. I'm pretty sure you're good. But uh, Laron, you know, just just in case, uh, if the interaction seems to get too muddy, then uh, we'll mod it. But besides that, you brothers could go back and forth do your thing. All right. So one one topic at a time. So with Israelites being called heathen. Um, all right. I'm going to try to make this one as short, sweet, simple and poss- as possible. And then I might take just a little bit longer on the salvation part because I really just uh, want, want y'all to see something, right? But all right. Let me just go here in the scriptures. If y'all want to follow me, I'm going to go to Matthews, the 18th chapter. And then I have two questions concerning Matthews, the 18th chapter. After I give you just a little bit of context about what's happening here. So if I go to Matthews 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee and go and tell him his fault between thee and thee alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. This is our king commanding what you should do. This is a trespass. You understand? So if a brother has offended you, we're supposed to go to him. And him alone say, hey, I, you know, you did X, Y, Z. And if the brother hears you and he hears you by changing his behavior, then now you understand you won him over. But if he won't hear thee, then now will take with thee two or more that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Now you're in a trespass council. Now you're in court. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it on to the church. But if he neglect the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. So now here we're seeing that somebody who gets kicked out of the church, a.k.a. the body, is treated as a heathen. So what we see is two things. Not only can an Israelite who's kicked out the church or the body be called a heathen, but why is it calling him a heathen? Hmm, what what is it about heathens and somebody who gets kicked out of the body? What what must they have in common? Oh, oh <laughs> I got it. Heathens aren't allowed in the church in the first place. <laughs> so as a result, if an Israelite is acting like a heathen, we treat him like a heathen. Here is a clear cut case of heathens not being allowed in the body and Israelites being called heathens. Now, I don't know if you want to respond to that before we move on to salvation, but we can land there. All right, so can you guys hear me? So first of all, I said, where in the text do you see God calling Israelites heathens? I don't see that in the text. And so if you notice in the text that he read, it says, let him be as a heathen. So when you look at as a heathen in that text, when it says, let him be as a heathen unto you, that means that Israelites dissociate themselves from heathens. And so that's what it's saying. Let him be as a heathen unto you. So what do Israelites do when they come in contact with heathens? They don't deal with heathens. Not that he is a heathen, because we see even though God divorced Israel, he never called Israelite heathens. He called them, uh, uh, what, what he, uh, uh, whores are, you know, what, what he called them, uh, his uh, backsliders. But he never called, he called them the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He never called them heathen. So I said, once again, nice try, Katasai. Only dog you're going to be walking is the ones that's on your toes, your foot, them dogs right there. Because uh, you ain't walking this dog. Hey, Leron, real quick, right? Is Christ God? You said what? Is Jesus Christ God? Well, um, as I just stated before, that is irrelevant to the question. I'm what asking I asked the question. you. I got you. That's irrelevant to what I just said. So, is Jesus uh, God? I got, I got you. Hold on for a minute. So, yes or no? If, if you, hold on. Stop for a minute. So, if you would like, bro, stick to the conversation. When it says as a heathen, there, whenever you deal with a it as a as a uh. A person with as a heathen, that means you dissociate yourself from that. That means you're not that heathen, but you deal with them as a heathen. 
Once again, don't ask me that question. Yeah, this is relevant to or the no, is Jesus Christ God? Next it is question, relevant. Bro. It is relevant. If you don't want to answer, question. you see, see how he won't answer because let me tell you something. He believes Jesus Christ is God. Those words are written in red. So if those words are written in red, your God said it. <laughs> like so, I don't know what you're talking about, Leron. Right. So uh, I get uh, next question, bro. Yep. Nice try. Y'all see why question. he didn't want to answer next that? Question, because he nice would have try. to then deny. Hold on, slow down. He would then have to deny his own God because he says God never said that. So now he does not want to admit to you that Jesus Christ is God. Those words are written in red. By your own admission, God just said it out his own mouth. Right. And even if even if you say that's the case, in that text it says, let him be <laughs> as a he. I know you're laughing, but notice it says. I'm laughing because you're on, running, Leron. I got you. Says, hold on, hold on. So y'all believe that Jesus Christ is God? Well, hold on, hold on. The creator? Let me just no, Ocho. Let me just, finish. Let me he just does. finish real quick. Let me just finish. In the text, it says, let him be as a he. It means that you are to treat him as a heathen not that he is a heathen but as a heathen so if i say like something is like something that don't mean that it's that so we're playing the games bro checkmate oh my god and once again that just goes to prove to you though that heathens were not allowed in the church which you're proving my point right and you see how he won't answer the question let's just hey, see how much integrity you're gonna, let's just see let's just see how much integrity you're gonna have in this dialogue because the body bags are just gonna continue here right hey you uh so, you owe it one so let's try the next one. as we as we i'm i'm i'm, I'm one listen i'm a thousand and and oh to you i've been you body bagging you for eight months on this app show me what god calls israelites he i've been i've been coming down the lane like ai on you 360s dunking on you boy show me right. show do hey do you believe jesus is god let's answer that question do, do you answer the question oh i'm sorry it's a completely irrelevant to the topic exactly <laughs> i know because you know you finna get christ you finna get christ right though christ here's the difference between me and you right i could answer a question straight up jesus christ is not god but moving on to the three well, topics it doesn't that matter then next question now not we're god. gonna now we're yeah we're going straight to salvation now right so now let us go to mm -mm -mm. cuz if i ask you the question clearly you're probably not going to answer it you know what i'm saying so i can't trust your integrity so i might have to ask you a question though all right revelations 12 right so revelations 12 and 9 and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the world. He was cast out onto the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Sounds so poetic. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is salvation, it's like, excuse me, now is come salvation. So why am I here? Why are we talking about this? What, what's going on here? So salvation comes when this dragon the sir that old serpent is cast out so let's find out who the dragon is so we have to read up inside the chapter hmm uh let's boom revelations 12 and 3 and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. This dragon is a reoccurring theme inside of Revelations. This dragon, you understand, and he drew his tail in the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for her to devour her child as soon as it was born. Well, this woman is Israel. That child is Christ and the spirit of Christ that's supposed to be given birth inside this earth, but the dragon's trying to destroy him. That's Satan's job. So, Laron, who's this dragon, right? And is this dragon, two-part question, who's this dragon, and is this dragon the same dragon inside of Revelations, the 13th chapter? Let's see, since it's on topic, can you at least answer this? Right, so that dragon in Revelation 17, right, is the... Um... Is the is the Satan the satanic forces or Satan himself is uh, 
pertaining to the gives the power to the beast, basically. Oh, okay. So let's just so uh, second part of the hey, question. Hey, hey, real quick, Flocky. Hey, Dro, just go on mute, gang. This is a one-on-one -on -one convo for a minute. So, so the second part of this question, then, right, is is the dragon the same dragon? So we're talking about the dragon with the with the seven heads and ten horns, or in this chapter, it's saying crowns. Horns represent rulership, which is why crowns and horns are synonymous. So is this the same dragon in Revelations 13? Um, I, I, I mean, I would have to read Revelations 13 because it's a slight difference. I think it's something in Revelations 13 that has somewhat of a difference from this uh, dragon there. So I'll have to read it. All. I can't remember, but I think it's a slight difference. Well, maybe you don't you don't remember. So since you don't remember, I'll tell you, no, they are okay, identical. And because they are identical. So, for example, before we talked about seven heads and ten crowns, crowns and horns are synonymous with rulership. Because remember, Christ would be the horn in Israel, meaning what? He sits at the top of the government rulership. He has the crown. So Revelations 13 and one. And I stood upon the sands of the sea. And saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his ten horns, crowns. Oh, there's the crowns again. So the horns and the crowns. Mm. And upon his head, the name of blasphemy. So this is the same dragon in the 12th chapter now being described in the 13th chapter. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. And his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So since you don't know, I will tell you this. This dragon, this beast, is synonymous with the visions that Daniel was having. Meaning that when you take a look at one of the visions that he had, what do you have? A griffin, which is a lion, which represented the Assyrian Empire. What came after that? The Medo-Persian Empire, which was symbolized by a bear. Moving on down, the leopard, which was what? The Greeks. And then after that was what? Was Rome. And that's this beast. This beast is talking about the nations that oppressed Israel, had Israel inside of captivity. Because remember, in 12, what was this dragon doing? Was trying to harm the woman was trying to harm the child. So now we're seeing this dragon right here represents nations. This is not some ooky spooky, you understand? Uh, 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 like you said, just a satanic Facts. force. Let him know. Is, 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 is Satan behind this moving it? Yeah, absolutely. But it's talking about a nation, just like the woman was talking about Israel. This dragon is oppressing Israel. And this dragon is showing that these are the nations that came out of each other. The Medo-Persians came after the Assyrians. The Greeks came after the Medo-Persians. Rome, it's why it was the Greco-Roman Empire. So what we now see is that it had seven heads and ten horns. Those seven heads were the seven superpowers that came out of Rome. Those ten horns were the ten common stock markets that came out of there. These are nations. These are nations that are not Israel. And we just read in the Bible that salvation doesn't come until these nations are destroyed. So you want to talk about salvation being for everybody? So how is salvation for everybody if salvation doesn't come until the nations that oppressed us are destroyed? Laron? Right. So um, the good thing about it is, is this word actually is like you could break this word down. And so uh, let's look at the word, the Greek word right there is soteria, right there. And it means uh, it's from the root, you know what I'm saying, um, 4990, which is, uh, let's look what it says, um, sotere. And so uh, it means savior to deliver or preserver, right, from the root. Now, if you go back to soteria, it means deliverance, preservation, safety, salvation. Uh, it also means health. It's, it's uh, translated, I mean, it uh, translates uh, salvation 40 times, to be saved one time, delivered uh, one time, health one time, saving one time, and the one to be saved with uh, one time. So we see 
that this word can be translated as health also too as salvation and so uh when we look at some of the uses that is used of uh i want to bring out one right here this is uh um let's go right here to uh where's it at Said that. All right, so this is Romans 1 and 16. So it's used for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek, right? So when we look at that text, the argument that leads to our third, the third argument on who the Gentiles is, you know what I'm saying? who these Greeks is and so when you look at the text that word salvation can mean health it can mean uh, it can means uh, to be saved or delivered right so I want to go right here to revelations so right here to revelations let's go right here revelations um, 20. I want to go to Revelation 20. Uh, real quick. Make sure I go there. I'm at a Greek. So, Revelation 20. Bro, do y'all follow the book of Enoch at all, or you just subscribe to the King James Version? Nah, Enoch, hey, you gotta wait, bro. You gotta Oto. wait. Yeah, you Oto, said Oto, Enoch, you what? Yeah, Oto, just, just go chill. You. you gotta wait. Right now, it's a one on one build with Brother LeRon and Cat. So we just moderating it. So you just please be patient. Uh, you know, as soon as they're done, you can add it. Oh yeah, I apologize, yeah. bro. You know it's my first time on the stage. Nah, that's no. You all good. I don't even worry about it. You good. And Laurent, just let me know when I could respond because you're gonna touch on a lot of subjects, and you know what I'm saying. I, right, I'll remember yeah. all of them, but just, just you know what I'm saying. You taking a little uh, extra long. Right, because I'm driving at the same time, so I gotta. Ah, uh, brother, that's dangerous. Hold on. Yeah, no. Uh, so this is Revelations. Revelations that would say. This is Revelations at the end of the book. I want to say, uh, what is it? Which verse is that? Yeah, let me let it, let us find it for you, bro. I don't want you to be doing that. You still looking for Revelations twenty? Say all the nations that's gonna be saved. Yeah. All right, I got you. I've I've heard this breakdown before. Revelations twenty one. And remember, just to, just to, just to point that out as a moderator, right? Because it's mm -hmm. only fair. Laurent, you have to answer the question that cop is out asked. I'm not saying you're not doing that because you haven't concluded uh, what you're saying. I'm just letting you know you have to answer it. But go ahead, Laurent. So yeah, he want. I so it says Revelations 21 and 24. Yep. All right. It says, and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it all right so in that text right there that text right there that we see is the hebrew word so so or so 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 right the greek and, word greek uh, yeah the, i'm sorry yeah the greek word i'm sorry about that the greek word so so right it means to say, keep safe, sound, rescue from danger or destruction, to saving or suffering from one. Then it says right here, it's used 110 times in the text, save, make whole, heal, be whole, right? That's what it's used as. And it says uh, to, to save, deliver, or protect, heal, preserve, save. Oh, that's what the and so so the, to look at some of the usages for it, um, Matthew one and twenty one, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. That word is the same word that is used right here of saving the people from their sins. It is is used also to save these nations right here. Uh, you can look at the other uses of it just as well too. It's used the same. 
And so I'm going to go right back here to Revelations, and I'm going to read it again, now that we understand the rendering of it, right? It says, Oh, uh, you want me to read it? And then, yeah, go ahead. I'm it says, ahead. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their honor, or Salakia, do bring their glory and honor into it. All right, cool. Now, based upon the definition that you just read, I got a question for you real quick, uh, brother. Um, let me ask my question to you. Upon the definitions that you just read, Sozo, right? Go back to it again. Hold on. Was those nations rescued? Was those nations preserved? Was those nations uh, uh, made whole, or will they be healed? Answer that question, uh, Katasai. They were spared from destruction in that context of Revelation, the 20th chapter. All right, so when you said they were spared from uh, in that context, right? So let's look at something real quick. Mm -hmm. You said they were spared from destruction. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look yeah, at now, the, just, uh, just wait on this. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, and I'm glad you took this long because I, I, brother. <laughs> I know I'm usually a little bit fast when I ain't driving, but uh, I got to be a little bit. Hey, just cautious. paraphrase, paraphrase what you're looking for. I right, will help you because I right. don't want you driving. Yeah, all right, so so in that context, right, when it says uh, Strong's definition to deliver, to protect, right, to preserve, to save, to do well, to make whole. So you said, uh, what did you say again they was, uh, Katasa? They were spared from destruction. Right, so you said they were spared from destruction. So um, they was preserved, right? From destruction. All right, so in the text, does it say that these nations have uh, the leaves will be for the healing of the nations? That's a completely separate context. Uh, no, nah, that, that, that's part of uh, that's part of saved because that's it, in it the says, next chapter. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. I'm just quick. telling you because it says that those people who are saved will have right to the tree of life. That's what it says. So the leaves of that tree is it for the healing of the nations? Answer that question. That's a separate context. All right, so all right, so I got one more question, then I'm gonna let you go and get it in. All right, I'm, so I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go right here to um, because I like to, you know, bust it down and go to the Old Testament. Y'all know me. I'm saying let's go right here to Psalms 67. It's one of my favorites right here. Don't learn today. Now it says I'm gonna read this right here, and I want you to answer this. It says. Um, God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, say lie, that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving help among all nations, thy saving help among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. Mm. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou should judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee, O God, oh, let all the people praise thee. Then should the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, should bless us. Thou should be uh, bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. So the reason why I brought this text out, because notice it says that thy saving health may be known to all nations you might want to look that word up to you that word will be yahweh shai to me that word will be yahshua you know what i'm saying that thy yahshua or the, the deliverance of salvation may be known among all nations right now thy saving help right now in this text it's basically saying that you katasai can't get to what you need until you get to where you're supposed to be, which is in Christ among God and teaching these nations. So my question to you is, when it says in this text, thy saving health right there may be known among all nations, right? 
What does that mean when it says that contracide? I got you. You ready? You gonna say something, Halab, before I respond? Uh, it, yeah, I was. Um, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I'm getting everybody's on it already. I'm on it too. Okay. Um, I'm getting back chats and things of that nature. Captain Katza, can you restate your? Oh, I know you're gonna. You want to rebuttal? Exactly. Everybody, I'm getting a lot of tech. I'm getting a lot of uh, text about this. Can you ask the original question again, Laurent? You don't have to answer it. Cause can you ask that question that you asked him before he gave us this breakdown? I just, I just, I just want to be clear, right? Um, I, I don't mind doing that, and I was gonna do that when I responded, but I'm glad that everyone's noticing. He's asking all these questions, refuses to answer any of mine, hasn't answered my question. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I wanted I, the audience because I wanted you to because I want I wanted. I want to do the audience thing again. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe I'm tripping. Maybe maybe you tripping. Maybe the two or three people or four or five people that but, text me, maybe they tripping, right? But, but you know you what? Ask though? the question so then the audience can hear it and then determine whether or not they felt like Laron answered it. But here, but here's here's the thing though, right? In his in Laron's defense, right? I know y'all gonna think I'm letting him off the hook. I'm not because once once I respond, like you know what I'm saying, it's it's all bad for him. But the point is, is he himself stated he doesn't know enough about the dragon to begin with, which is why I just began to teach him because he already admitted he doesn't have an answer to the question. So are do you suffice that he doesn't know and he's not learned enough in that area to actually answer it? Or do you still need me to rephrase it? And, and that was that was I'm glad that you said that because I was literally um, thinking to myself that he just demonstrated that he you know, he didn't have an, a grasp on prophecy. And I think that that was, um, you know, demonstrated to the audience as well. So, you know, that I really feel like you demonstrated that. Um, and, you know, I don't necessarily think he wants he's here to be taught right now. Um, if you would like to, you know, kind of make a point about it, that's cool. But um, that's where I'm at with it. Wait, wait, hold on real quick. In, in, my, in, in, my, in my case of my response to defend myself, he asked me about salvation in that case of the beast i mean of the uh the, the children of israel pertaining to well uh, them being delivered from the from nation the, from the can dragon you know, I, yeah that's why i wanted the question to be yeah, asked the queen. i got you and the dragon right is will be considered the kingdoms of this world would you agree to that uh, i i believe i broke that down earlier so i'm glad that you right, so agree if I just with said that. nations What's the point? If I just said nations, but kingdom, because, whatever, it's because still the because same. because here's the different here's the difference, right? Because earlier you refused to admit the identity of them. You brought up the nation. So, Correct. Now here's the thing, though. Earlier you wanted to bring up like it was some kind of ooky spooky satanic Correct. force. You did not want to bring it into the secular, which is what the metaphor right, was doing. It was bringing it system. into the secular. You, hold I on. Said the, you I said just there's a spirit force behind now. the system, which the beast system. No, I said that before. You can rewind it. That back. was not succinct. Hey, right on, now, man, you're getting succinct, hey, which means hey, that you have no stop. integrity in answering the original question. Hey, Katas, I, I bet you $100 if you rewind it back, I said that. How much you want to bet? Let's put some money on the table. And I'll bet you $100 that you did not mention that they were the nations. All you no, did was I, just bring up a spiritual force behind the power. Well, you, like, did, like. Like you, you, you see, here's the thing, right? The correct answer was roller coaster, but you wanted to say centrifugal force because that's how they work. Well, listen, hold on, Kataza. Anybody that know, I teach you, anybody that know me, did I teach on revelations, right? I always say that what the beast consists of the beast consists of nations, and also behind the nations. Is powers to be spiritual entities because if you look at Revelation 11, the 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 what was let out of the bottomless pit, or the the the, the spirit that will go into perdition that was let out, is the backing of that very system. So I believe the angelic forces is the one that pushes these nations to do what they're doing and influences these nations and gives them basically the uh, the inspiration. Just like and God gave. Are Israel these are Trump. these are Just these nations Israelites? Quick. Are these hold nations on. Israelites? Let me just land real quick. Are these just nations like, Israelites? Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me just land real quick and I'm going to answer your question. Just like God gave Israel and inspired Israel and gave them a government, 
and 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 also they divine into unto 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 the God of Israel. It's the same thing that these nations been doing. They've been dividing to spiritual forces, and they built their government based upon these wicked uh spirits that we see. He's so not going to answer this question. Now, so you, you see how see, see, question again? You see, you see, you see, you see how a minute ago he question, hold on. Uh, after, you just said you're going to mute your mic. And I just I just want y'all to know that all of this was a distraction from the clapback that was coming. Just just so y'all know. I said, brother, I was going to ask. No, we, we know the clapback is coming. I, it's I coming. Said you, I was just wanted to make sure that the answer to the no, question. I said I was going to answer your question. Laurent, Laurent, just mute up. Okay, Laurent, yeah, we, we got you, Laurent. We got you. We got you. Because I still want to do this. I still, you know, before we let uh, Captain Katasar respond, right? Because uh, like I said, maybe we tripping. Who feels like Laron, and I'm going to do both again, who feels like Laron did answer Captain Katazar's question? Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep him going. All right. So we got a grand one. total of one. No, no cap. <laughs> No cap. We got grand total of one. I don't even think that I need. I, I just will. Right. You can put your hand down, brother. Uh, who feels like. Laron. Uh, what did I say? Did answer his question. Right. Who, who, yeah, feels, did not. who feels like Laron did not answer the question. And we're not talking wow. about like if they agree with your answer. Cause that's a different thing. We're talking about if they actually think you answered the question. Hey, uh, 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 Ma Mahal, uh, Mahal, how you say your name again, brother Dominique? Yeah, just that, you can say, say that. That's fine. Hey, Dominique, listen, bro. It's over a million people that think the vaccination safe. You think I give a damn about seven, two hundred Israelites that agree with your position to who y'all teach every day? On, no, I, I know you me. don't. I just Smoke want, screen. I just, I, yeah, don't try to play me, bro. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because. Yeah, that's really childish you what you're doing. I Wait, just no, want you no. to understand that. Laurent, it's not. It's not childish. Yeah, because you know they're going to save you anyway because you teach all these people every day. That's childish, bro. Can I, can I just get to my response? <laughs> Laurent, please, please second, stay on mute. That was, I'm, I'm, that, this is a moderation thing right here. All right. Because what I'm trying to uh, <clears throat> make sure is that the audience is following along the conversation. I'm trying to keep them engaged. Yes, I know a lot of them are Israelites. I didn't ask if what they, if what your answer was was correct, if they thought that, that would have been a little bit biased, right? I'm just simply asking, do they even think you answered the question? Not whether or not they agreed with your information or your answer. If you even answer, like if you say, if you ask me, for example, is salvation open to everybody? And I say no. Well, uh, if I'm in the Christian room, who agrees with Dominique? Like, that would be a biased answer. But if you ask, did Dominique ask the question? That's a fair, or answer the question? That's a fair question. So it's not like I'm just trying to play you. I'm just trying to see if people think you even answered the question, Laurent. That's hey, all. Br hey, 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 brother, you already know I've been doing this for a long time, probably before you even came into existence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you probably you probably the same age. You know I'm saying, so I don't know, but right. I've been doing this over since since 2000. You know what I'm saying, probably before you even came into the truth of whatever truth you say you got. And mm -hmm. for the most part, as this is, I got enough sense to know that these people always saying he never answered or we never answered their questions. That's what they do in these discussions, bro. So I'm not really moved about you asking somebody. It's just really childish that you're doing that. It's, it's, you might well, it's not go, childish. You, you just don't agree with it. But it's not childish. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Anyways, uh, hold on, hold on. It's, no, no, it's no, all right, no, right Laurent. We'll he owed for two. Laurent, don't worry. I muted you. I don't want the conversation to get muddy. Uh, let's just continue the edification. I think, I think. So Katha's out. Response. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, he touched on a lot. So I'd like y'all to long suffer with me as and as I try to move through this information. And not only that, but I'm going to answer his question at the very end of it. And notice he still hasn't answered any of mine. 
which is fine. I expect this. You know what I'm saying? But all right. So the first thing that he tried to do was divert and and try to add like when you go into Romans, the first chapter, and he tried to bring up when it says to the Jew first, then to the Greek and compare these words of salvation when he's talking about being spared by enemies. Yes, being spared by an enemy is exactly what salvation is about. And we just declared in Revelations that the nations, as you put it, which were not Israelites that you didn't answer, are the enemies of Israel because they comprise that dragon. And salvation doesn't come for Israel, might I add, until that dragon is destroyed. Then is that same word you say salvation declared. Here's something else. Inside that same chapter, when you went, and it's in, in Romans 1 and 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first, and then also to the Greek. That word Greek is Helen. Are you aware of the Hellenist time period? Of course you're not, you understand? For any of you who actually read Maccabees, if you read Maccabees, second Maccabees six and six, you will find out that it was illegal for any Jew to profess themselves to be a Jew. They weren't allowed to speak the language. They weren't allowed to uh, perform Sabbath days, nothing. So if you were conquered by the Greeks, right? and you were not allowed to follow your own customs, whose customs would you have to follow? Oh my God, you'd have to follow the Greeks. So what would you call yourself? You would call yourself a Greek. So this is talking about the Jew first, meaning what? Those in Jerusalem, those in Judea, and then the, and the Greek was talking about those who were scattered, Hellenized inside of these providences. Y'all can go look in the Zondervan. You can go look in the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary and you will find out that a Helen or a, a someone who is a Hellenist is someone who had Greek outlook, culture, We're language, and Greek expression. Right Excuse well, me, Ron, don't right and expression. You see, you see, I just want you to notice something too. On his entire rant, you understand? The only time I interrupted was to tell him to drive safe. Don't crash. You sound like you a little distracted over there. All right? Not once. Not once did I turn around and say, no, but that's not Greek is Helen. Not once. So back to the point, right? So now if you go and you look, it'll say in, in Greek and in outlook, philosophy, culture, except in ethnicity, especially a Hellenized Jew. That's strike one. Now let's move on to uh, 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 what she was stating. Where's that? Where's right? the source at? If you so don't mind now, me I just not only did I not only did I name where's them, the I gave a Bible. Look, I Laron, you kind of breaking down the quorum. I gave, I gave 